Okay, so today I'm going to take off these fenders. Uh, I got new fenders. These are welded on um, style. And the later version, which is the same stamping, uh, is bolted on, which is more convenient, obviously. So I have to remove these and make holes for the bolting. And also, there's tons of rust in here, there's holes. I gotta fix the inner wheel well, so. We're gonna take them off and start working on that. Okay, before I get going, I'm gonna take the headlight out. So I'm gonna take this thing off. I'm gonna, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna paint this thing. Either way, I gotta, well, I definitely need to like, change the color. I mean, I gotta definitely paint it. Someone painted this blue with like a brush or something. It was obviously yellow. You see they, they're U-clips. They just slide out of these little dubbins. Alright. I'm gonna take the headlight off. Well, it's all on here. Center, punch them. Hopefully, I don't think there's too many of them. All right, so this one, there's a, it's welded right here. It's gonna be hard to get a good shot of it, but I'm gonna use my, use my body saw to cut it off. It's just like a inline jigsaw, basically. And then I'll just clean up that after I think to take this off properly, like to cut the welds out and keep that tab, I take the door off. So I ain't doing that. All right, I think that's all of them. Which it is spot welded along this seam too, but it's so rotten. I could probably just. So this is all spot welded along this edge too, but you know, obviously it's rotten off. It's pretty bad. This is all gone. So I'm gonna have to leave that for a template. So I'm gonna have to remake all this. Oh, you see. 
all rotten. Oh man, it's pretty bad. Let's go up. Yeah, it's pretty rotty. Pretty rotty. Let's see. In this is pretty, pretty crappy. All up in here. This is all bad. Hole. There. This looks pretty suspect as well. But the other side, already taken off, is worse. It's much worse. Okay. Well, there. Oh, that's baby. That's big hole. Yeah. This is a really bad patch I did. <laughs> to get it through safety, all these holes weren't there then. At least they weren't exposed. I poked at them. Another hole there. This side's really bad hole here. And you see all, this is all pretty crummy. I could probably clean a lot of this up. Just, I mean, this isn't a show car. It's gonna be my tow rig, but I put enough money into it. I want it to last for a little while, like <coughs> 10 years, <laughs> you know? Let's see, 45 here. How significant is the rot? How significant is the rot? What's this? That's metal. That's interesting. What is this? This is that's a piece of metal. Oh, that's a oh, that's a patch. This is all pretty bad. Oh uh, yeah, like toasted. So I guess I'll have to replace this. Oh, uh, I think I have to take the door off. Man, I don't want to take the door off. That's a lot of work. It's no fun taking a door off. It's no fun. That's all. This is factory. What's going on in there? To get this uh, fender on, I'm going to have to drill some holes in here. I think I have to change this mounting system. These pads don't line up, unfortunately. And there's no mount. There should be a mount down here. And then there should be a mount here I'm going to have to make as well. A bracket. So, yeah. It doesn't... It's not that easy to get the newer style fenders onto this thing. So I'm going to start by just putting some self-topping screws in place to try to get the body lines to line up and then I'll start finalizing the location of the fender. Okay, I put a screw up here, but it didn't really 
Worked for the back, but didn't work for the hood. So I'm gonna try. Let's see if I can get a decent spot. I want to line this up as close as I can. It's this body line here. Up. This body line here. This is what I'm trying to get lined up with the front. So I have got it in place. I put a little tack right here and you can see this is lining up decently. It sticks out a bit, but that's just, I'm not going to get too crazy. I mean, it's just a tow truck. This is the worst of it though. If you look, this is a gap in the height to change this. It'd be very hard. I could probably bend it up. I'm gonna increase the gap. I'm gonna put a little screw here. And then down here, it's different. I'm going to probably put some, I'll have to extend this bottom piece, this piece here. I'll have to extend it down. So this screws and then the real challenge is going to be this. There's the fender mount in there. You see that? That's, that's going to be real fun. Because how do you even get... Anyone else can't even see it. So I'm going to have to make a bracket. Okay, so I made up uh, just a crude bracket for this part. So this is going to go on here. And then the fender will attach it. I'll probably you know, I'll add something. I don't know if the strength's super important, but I might add a little a couple divots in there. And I'm going to riv nut this guy. So I got a riv nut here. Okay, so I'm gonna rev nut this panel. This is where the um, fender will bolt to. It's kind of neat. These are these little threaded inserts. You drill a hole for them. You put them on there. You thread them on this mandrel thing here. Stick it in there. The thing is on. Let me get another go here. You can see this is not happy. that worked. Hopefully, usually you can turn this, but this one get a little wonky. That's on there good enough. All right. Okay. And this will mount on the car and the fender will bolt into these. So here's the fender on, you can see this gap 
still really bad, but I don't think I can make it too much better. So this in here, I need to replace all this metal. This is the inside of the fender lip. And this metal here touches right up. So it's kind of a tricky curve. It's flat, and then this is a curve, and then this is a flange. It's about 45 degrees, so I gotta remake that. But otherwise, it's not fitting the horse. This gap's pretty good. The fender sticks out, though. You see that, look at that. It's pretty terrible. But, yeah, it's not a show truck. The lines are, they're kind of off. They're off. Oh, well. But yeah. Then I might, I'm not sure if I'll make, this is for the air vent of the, uh, the later vans. That's where they brought their air in. Mine didn't have that. So I don't know if I'll make something. But yeah. Be close. So here's the first panel I'm going to do. It's so it's rusted there and up in there. It's these lips. So here's the replacement I made. And I think I'm going to, let me see it. It goes in there. And this curves here. I'm gonna hack this off. This is actually isn't, I had to bend this down. This actually comes out like that. With the new fender, it comes all the way up into here. So I have to change the, the cut a bit on this one. Yeah, there she is. I don't think I'm gonna cut, I don't know if I'm gonna weld in the whole piece. Not too sure what's under here. I think, see, if you look in there, I think there's, um, yeah, there's spot welds. So I'm gonna cut around that, just to make my life easier. Just cut out the that rust. And then I'm gonna make this panel separate. I bought this piece, it really isn't, it really isn't that bad. Like I could have just replaced the flange and, well, it's bad there. 
when I bought the piece, it wasn't cheap, but yeah, I traded parts for it actually. I got lucky. So yeah, I'm gonna take this off and then I'll replace this section and fix all these holes in here. Yeah, first I'm gonna do this one. And then there is the, uh, that's the back bracket I had to make for the fender because there was no um, mounts from the factory because it was just welded right here. So this is the 90 with rib nuts. I might add a little uh, supports in here just to make it a little stronger. We'll see. I don't think it needs that much strength. I'll just weld that on there. Okay. Okay, so I got the panel and that's how I'm gonna I cut it and that's that's the part I'm gonna weld in. I think I'm gonna butt weld it. I really don't want it <laughs> since it's a wheel well, but I should. This here, there's a flange here. You can see the line, which I'm gonna bend up. This is too far out. I might just cut this and make, I have to extend this piece anyways for the fender because there's no mount. There should be holes here for the fender mount. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna cut this and put, make this piece. Yeah, I clicked it in. It's pretty close. I mean, it's, it's close enough, I think. Good enough. Good enough for this. I might have to trim, I might have to trim the, uh, the flange. We'll see once I get it actually welded in. It'll be okay. No, oh, I poo pooed up. Shoot. Stinks. What the hell? How did I do that? Oh, man. Oh, well. Put the well little patch in there. All right. So, yeah. Get this to fit better. A whole bunch of sanding grinding yeah, that's not good bad though look at that that's not that rusty that's I really like to see that that's a good sign that's not a lost cause it's not all rotting in the seams all right there we go got it fitting pretty decent in there and then on here, 
you see it fits pretty nice there. I'm gonna hammer this flange up once after I welded it in. This, there's a bit of a gap in here. Maybe I'll try to get that radius a bit tighter. Eh, actually, no. Don't screw with it. So I'm gonna throw the fender out quick and make sure it sits properly, and then I'm gonna weld it in. It's fitting, uh, it's fitting the same about. You see, I did a bit. You see that I did put too much of a curve in, so it's actually not touching at all. But it clears there. I'll just fill this with uh, seam sealer or something. But yeah, otherwise it's it's good enough for this. Welding in time. All right, I got it. Got some of this well through coating on both sides and on the body and stuff, chassis thingy, car stuff. So here's that patch pretty much finished. Well, I try to bang this out a bit here, and then I just sprayed it with the uh, that zinc weld through primer stuff before coating it. So then I'm on to this side. I'm going to replace this panel here. I'm going to make this. I'm gonna try to make it in one spot. There's a lot of interpretation here because there's so much metal missing. But yeah, I'm gonna, I don't have to make it too fancy. fancy. And I think I'm just going to, I'm gonna lap weld onto here with this dirt line. I'm gonna go into here a bit. But yeah, so I'm gonna make this panel now and then weld in the other side. Before I cut off this, I'm gonna use this piece as a guide for the <clears throat> inner wheel arch, and then I'll cut this off and replace that. Yeah, so here's the panel or the rot. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut in here and go to here, and then I'm just gonna, this is a sport, so I'm just gonna lap weld on here. I'm gonna remove this. I think I'm just gonna take it down because here's a panel lap welded. So I'm gonna take that right down there. And then, yeah, I'm trying to make this inner wheel arch one piece. I may have to make this in a separate piece, and then all this is gone. So I'll have to interpret it as I may. The other side is here, kind of, so I guess I could use this too, but it's not, it's not much better. You see, it's kind of flat, actually. It's not really that curvy. So, yeah. And then this I'll have to go into the layers because this is this is inside the cab and this is rotten. That's the wheel well. Or the uh, foot well, I should say. So, and then of course the rockers are rotten. So, oh, it just goes on and on. So, here is the template is really 
rough since there's so much rusted parts. So I'm just going to cut out extra metal and <laughs> start working away and see if I can make it happen. All right, I'm gonna B-roll this line. This is, I looked on the car and it was a straight line. It doesn't curve. So I'm just gonna put a kind of a straight line in here. Very up for interpretation at this point. This is a thumbnail die. You're just gonna create a tuck in the metal. See if it comes in and out. Shrinks it. This is how I'm going to cut this panel. I put another template in and this is just marked. This is the edge of my cut in here. And then I Clico these on and I'm just going to, I'm going to lap weld this. So I'm going to cut like, you know, half inch or something over that. And then I'm going to punch holes in all these marks. And this is, this is kind of wonky in here. This, this was rusted, so I have to go this far here. It only goes this far here. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. You know, I'll, I'll put this on the panel, and then I can mark where to trim. Okay, so here's my cut lines on my panel. Uh, let's see, I added some other stuff. This bend line isn't right on here. It's way over here. Just add that information. This is a sewing uh, tool I use. It just transfers the information. So I'm going to use this. Let's use an off cut. There's a straight edge here. You see how much, like there's my paper. You can see I had to cut it to get it to sit flat. That's how much I stretched this, or shrunk this metal. You see the overlap, see? Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of shrink in here. A little in there, quite a bit, a lot up in here. So the flange is about five eighths. I know up here though, I only gave it half inch. So it looks weird if I don't put a half inch right here. Half inch, half inch, I don't know. So. 
Now, if this was a um, exterior panel, I would planish this more, like get all the wrinkles and crap out of it, but because it's an inner wheel well, you actually won't even see this. So, you know. Basically, I just want to make this crease will help um, when I knock it over with a hammer and dolly. I'm hoping, at least that's the theory. See, I might have to shrink this uh, flange more. Definitely see <clears throat> a little shrink in it, you know. Shrinking it, the shrinky shrinks up in this one. So I just put the dolly up against the sharpie line. Okay, I uh, I have decided I'm not going to weld this in until I have this panel because this this curve here doesn't look quite right to me. So I'm wondering if it's hanging down too low. So just in case I needed to um, make this curve more, I'd have to shrink this, I think. Get the curve in. Because it's a little tight on that back lip. I have to put a, quite a bit of tension in here. So I don't know how much more I can stretch it. But yeah, otherwise it's pretty much ready. I'm gonna butt weld here. I think this flange is probably too long. I think I'll have to grind that down a bit. And then in here, I'm just gonna punch holes and do like spot weld type style. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, it needs to be banged up in the place a bit better. But yeah, otherwise, I'm gonna say this guy is done for now until I go get these uh, outer arches. So yeah, that's it for this guy. <laughs>